Hey there guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on Voyager Class Megatron. If y'all are hearing bangings or something, the people on top of the floor, but it's kids awake at this time. So let's get Megatron on our side and then let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, there's a nice Megatron picture right there. It goes on to the side like that. As Mega, it says Megatron, of course, that's his name. It's the Decepticon logo. Transformers of last night. And here we go. Transformers logo and the Premier Edition logo. logo. Same thing says Voyager Class right there. Voyager Class and the Transformers and the Decepticon sign. Back of it. Up. And by the way, we're at a hotel. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'll try to see. And that's it shows Megatron black, but it really isn't. I mind that little bag right there. That's just my tech decks. See, it says Megatron, Voyager class Autobot pound. But this um, Megatron transforms in 20 steps, and yeah. That's the back of the packaging. And this is the side of the packaging. Merciless Tyrant. That's that's I wish they had a better bio. That's what I wish. I wish they had a better bio. But what do you expect? And here's the top. Quick look at the top. Quick look at the bottom. Now let's get onto the figure itself. So, okay, so this is Voyager Class Megatron in his vehicle mode. Let's take a quick look from the top. That's Voyager Class Megatron. He's pretty nice in his vehicle mode. He's, I, I gotta give it to it. I gotta give it to Hasbro. I think he, they did a nice job on him on top. And then people, some people might just have problems with their feet sticking out. And then, I'm pretty sure that's all. And then also this other minor thing. And that's why I like putting on the sword. I like it more like this optional more like that. Because it has that little tab right there. I put it in the back like that. See there. Put them back like that. Has a really nice detail on the top, as y'all can see. Really nice detail. And then flip them over. Y'all can see. Wait, let me get that out of the way. My little brother's milk. Baby brother's milk. See, that's the bottom of him. There's lots of robot on him. And I forgot to say, he has a Cybertronian tank. Not tank, I, why did I say that? So dumb. Cybertronian jet mode. See, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. On the bottom, people might have some problems with that too. Because it just displays the whole robot. But to me, it gives you a lot more, a little bit more of a Cybertronian look. So, that's, that's about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back. My, my cousin laughing. Oh yeah, and he picked up a uh, uh, deluxe class Bumblebee. He said that he's going to be reviewing it on his channel, so... Now, let's get the transformation. Okay, what you have to do is this. First, start start off by getting the getting the legs untapped. I'll take off the sword. 
get to spread the legs out. After that, I would, I'm gonna get, we'll have to get the top, top of these, move these out of the way, get those out of the way, or get, you gotta get those out of the way, you gotta make sure of that. So now, now what you have to do is bring up, right now you have to do it. Now what you have to do is untab the skirts. They go into that little tab right here. I don't know if, if y'all can see. Let's see the tab, tab. See right there, that tab right there. So now, after this, you got the whole back section. Like, don't like plug it on, plug it on. Like, just make sure you take down the cockpit and make sure you take it down no wait after that you already saw his head on the bottom I bet you already saw it also don't do it now but well, let's spread out the arms and then after that get the nose cone and then pop it in back there we're almost done. So you have to flip the head around. Now next you have to get these right here. Open them. Y'all see those tabs? Y'all see those tabs right there? You have to put those tabs right there. You have to tab these. Not, those are not tabs, they're tab holes. I don't know if y'all can see that right over here that tab so now those are going to tab onto the chest nice and done until you hear the pop until you hear the click go down the side skirts let's see wow i forgot that which way that was supposed to go let's move the arm out of the way oh i forgot it's supposed to flip around see at the flip side skirts, side uh, booster skirts, so I'm going to call them side boosters, not boosters, but I, I know that they're not boosters in the vehicle mode, the separate jet mode, I'm just going to be calling them that, alright guys, wait, first let's get this whole assembly done on the arms, you have to flip out the hand, like as so, the same thing with the other arm to flip out the hand. See, flip it out. Dang it. There you go. Flip out the hand. And we're almost about done. Yeah, guys, we're almost about done. Let's see, here's pull. I forgot. Oh, get the lift up the foot. Forgot. I'm such an idiot. Do that. Flip out the foot. Get the leg. See that little tab right there? If y'all can see it. Focus camera. On my phone, I mean. That tab, that tab right there tabs into that tab hole right there. Mind my really long nails, please. Mind them. I know I have long nails, don't roast me in the comments because of that. After that, do the same thing with the other leg. Boy, all the way out. Then give give a quick shout out to this hotel. It's called I believe it's called Candlewood. It's over here in Lake Jackson. We're staying at it. And I picked up Megatron at Lake Jackson. Megatron was, I'm always super hyped for that. That's like my main reason I wanted to come to Lake Jackson. Are legs supposed to be, oh yeah, they are supposed to be like that. Now, get the cannon. Flip it like that. Flip the, flip that around. And there you go.
There you have him. In his robot mode. Okay, we just add on his sword. I think it's a pretty good figure for twenty-two dollars. For twenty-two dollars over here in US. In US and And uh he's not bad. He's not really a bad figure. People might keep people complain about his backpack. It's really it's really not good to them, but to me it's fine. It doesn't matter. There. A quick a quick shot to his head right here. Quick shot. His head focus. That's a not that's a nice head. It might look like it has pipe light and pipe light and pipe lighting. No, light piping. Or I don't know how I forgot how to say it. I'm pretty sure it's light piping. It looks like it has like those like those little transparent things on his head, transparent parts. So it could glow up the eyes. Focus. So could glow up the eyes, zoom in on that head. See? Zoom out. And there. Let's get a quick shot of him with his sword. Without his sword. Let's give a quick shot of him with let's give a quick shot at his sword. It's pretty Pretty impressive, I say. It's really nice. The it's the only the only problem I I have with it. It's not bad or anything. Is that this piece right here? That tab, but it's not bad. It still works. It works. It works. I can deal with it. But I like how it's like an axe. And that's pretty much about it. Oh, and then in vehicle mode, I like I like using this. Uh, Handle like as a, as a, like as a gun. That's what I believe. But it's, I bet you it's not. I bet it's just there for decoration on the weapon. But I like to believe. It's my imagination, guys. Let's see, how do I do this? I gave you a shot of berserker. A berserker. I forgot to do a size comparison. But I'll review him one of these days. I'll, I'll review him. I have him out of his package and everything. Let's get Megatron closer. Give him a shot. That's him. Let's give him a quick shot. Let's see. That's him. In his robot mode, it's not bad. It's not bad. That head, though. I know y'all might not even be able to see his uh, details because it's really nice detail. I, I know it doesn't show no weathering, but it's fine. All right, now let's look at the articulation. All right, the articulation. Bit up that. Let's see. Flip it back. He has up and down at the head. He can't go up that that much, but he can flip, go full 360 on his head. And then he does have good, pretty good arm articulation, I say. First, you, you have to like lift that up so you can move the whole arm out like that. Outward. Nice. Nice stuff. And you also have some Let's see, let me put down the phone. You can also move the arm. He's got an elbow joint. Same thing at the other arm. Same thing at the other arm. It's optional. If you don't 
and it's option this is optional look you can have the fold down you put the cannon fall down you can fold down the cannon like that I personally like it up I don't know I don't know I don't know it's good anyway then the other option you have is Folding up the gun like folding up the the blaster. It's called something cannon, I know. I know I just said I forgot guys. Don't roast me in the comments for that. I know the name of it. It's just that I forgot. And articulation at the legs. Let's look. Let's look at that. Okay. He doesn't got a really good spread. He can't spread his legs all the way because of the side skirts. The skirts. I don't know. I don't know if he can spread them. Then his side, his skirts do move. Then these are like hard plastic. I, I, I thought, thought these were like uh, like um, like rubber. When I first, when I first saw them in the pack, when I first saw them in in the on the pictures on the images you can move up his skirts and everything if y'all hear banging mind it cuz I bet it's kids just doing lots of dumb stuff like at this time like uh like just just uh like like running just let's take our heads off of that I really do like how the legs are made he's he's pretty good He's pretty good looking, I personally think. I don't know about y'all, but he's pretty cool. Now, let's go with the leg articulation. Can't go all, he can go all the way up. I don't think he can go all the way back. Yeah, he, he can't go all the way back. If he, if you want him to go all the way back, nah, nah, he can't go all the way back. I had a feeling he couldn't. You can move the side skirts out of the way. Dang it. Hate when that happens. You can you have some nice articulation there at the leg. Having like a nice dynamic poses. Like that. Uh he's got like a fit he's got a pivot at his foot. It's it's this way. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you, Megatron. It's uh, it's that way. The pivots like that. It's only for the because of transformation. Same thing at the other leg, knee joint, and yeah, that's that's about it. Let's go. Let's go over the pros and cons. Okay, a pro to me is that is that his cannon. This cannon is really, really, really cool. I think, I personally think it's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's not, I like it. And then, and then uh, another pro would be his nice sculpting at the head. I don't know if y'all can see it because the lighting. I don't know if y'all can see it. The sculpting is really good. If y'all can't see it, go to, go watch up the bottom is and. And all those other good YouTubers that review Transformers. Subscribe to Optibotomist for sure. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. So, subscribe to, him. subscribe to him. He was the one that inspired me to do this. I really do like the sculpting on his head. Another pro, I don't know about y'all, but I like it. Is that he's got his skirts like a knight does. I, I really do like that. I, and another pro is that he's based off a knight. Some people may not like the uh, so the Transformers being based off knights. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. And I think, and then the legs. Those are those those are really those are really well made. They're really well put together. And the details, I can't get over how much detail he has. Well, the pro, no, no, that, that's that's it. That's all about it for the pros. Now the cons will be him having a, 
a tab right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Focus. Let's see. Focus. No. Y'all can see. Let's, let's, let's look at the... See? That's the only problem. And then the detailing on his head. Let's show you his detailing. That's not a con. I'm just showing you. Seeing if it can focus. Y'all see the little lighting? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he has light piping. And another pro would be that he has his Decepticon symbol on his chest. Of course. Okay, so the... Oh, I forgot. He has some wrist articulation. It's only for a trans... It's only for a transformation, but... I could, I could, call, I could call it wrist articulation, so... Now, the cons will be... For, for some people, I really do like the figure. There's no cons to me only except that tab, open tab right there. For some, for some uh, people, for some people, some for some collectors out there, they don't like the, they don't like the back background. Now I think it looks fine. It doesn't look bad. And overall, he, Megatron's my favorite figure. I wouldn't have a con about him. And. I'm sorry I did not go over the pros and cons on the vehicle mode and stuff. I'm sorry. Mind that. It's one of my video it's one of my first Transformer reviews. And that's actually about all the cons I can think of. But overall he's a really nice figure. Please subscribe guys. Bye and peace out. God bless.